a race it's not a race but it's a marathon and it's a journey even when you reach there we're still learning we're still growing hey guys so i just wanted to be like come on here and be transparent about like what's been going on in my life and stuff and y'all let me just tell you i've been going through it and this is a season in my life where i don't know it's just very i've been feeling very weak and tired that's for one i don't know if anyone feels like that but um i've been very feeling very weak and tired and this is a season where god is teaching me to just lean on his strength and not mine and you know a lot of the times we think that when we're leaning on god's strength that means that oh you know we're gonna be strong we're gonna be able to do so much things but in fact when we're in a season like that we feel weaker than usual because in order for us to lean on god's strength he has to use our weaknesses and we have to be weak and even in the bible it says when i am weak i'm strong so a lot of the times when we're in moments where we feel like we're just weak and we can't do anything a lot of those times especially speaking for myself i feel like i'm lazy i'm not doing anything or i'm not doing really what i'm supposed to do to get to where i'm at but it's really god just teaching you that everything that's gonna happen for you is not by your might or by your strength but by my spirit and in order for you to understand my spirit and how i work and lean on my strength you have to be humble you have to god will literally put you in the most humblest form of yourself whether that's not having money or whether it's being without a job or just being tired physically or just being in a very like chaotic or serious situation god is going to use those moments because when you are weak is also when you're more humble so that's why it says in the bible humble and i will lift you because it is in your weaknesses that god is the strongest is when he can use you that's just what my season has been god showing me that i'm even strong and i'm enough in my weaknesses in the things that i don't have all together even in the things that i may not be perfect at because i've been hard on myself a lot thinking like why am i not good at this yet why am i not doing this yet and it's because god wants things to happen because he gets the glory for it not because i did all this stuff or put in the work i see a lot of people or even christians now saying all these things that require you to be successful trying to like kind of incorporate worldly aspects even though it does it is important to be doers of things that you want and prepare for god but i feel like when you're really leaning on god's strength your preparation looks so much different than people of the world because people who don't know god they would do all this stuff all this preparation and all this you know whatever they're doing to try to be successful but then once they get there it's just like they're still not stronger than the way they think they experience a high but then they go low but that's because they didn't incorporate god in what they were doing and the things that they went through to get to where they need to be was still on their own terms was still by their own strength and so when they get there it's very hard for them to be firm and have stability in what they're doing no matter how much money they have no matter what it is that they're doing this is something that i just spontaneously started recording because it is like you can't really speak on things you don't have experience in so a lot of these people now even on social media you know i'm trying to be on social media less they try to convince you you got to do this to be successful you got to do that to be successful and do all these things but most of them don't even do it the right way a lot of them you know dip and dabble in things to try to make them you know what i'm saying to be successful you know and also another thing is just that 
when they get there and then they try to teach others how to get there, it's like they're not really telling you how they got there. Because nine times out of the 10, yes, they got there, but they got there by their own strength and might. So you're trying to do all these things, download all these ebooks, go on these Zoom calls. But then it's like, when you do receive something, the way it happens is not because you did something but because god gave it to you and i've experienced that so many times it don't matter what i do or what i try to you know what i'm saying it's just like when i do receive a blessing or something it's not because of me it's because of god i think it's very important to just that in mind in this season i think it's very important to focus ourselves and not idolize, you know, spiritual speakers or creators or people that are trying to get us into our purpose, but really just like stay in this secret place with God. I think it's very important in this season and just lean on his strength and not ours. Um, Cause sometimes when we're trying to lean on our own strength and we start seeking other things to try to help us, we do it unknowingly and then we get hurt by those things unknowingly without even thinking and we're just like why did this happen but it's because we've made all these things an idol and thinking this is how it's, it's gonna happen but it's really god and then we waste our time instead of just staying in the secret place and keeping our mind in solitude with god and saying so that when we really get up to that place we have that peace the preparation season is not even like what it really seems. Preparation season is not preparing you for the specific blessing, but it's preparing you for everything that comes with the blessing. Think, oh, you know, if you wanna own a business or you, you know, do content creation and stuff. Yes, it's important to do stuff that can help you and learn, be knowledgeable on it. But even when you search up the word discipline, um, it means to learn. In Hebrew, the Hebrew definition of discipline is to learn, but people confuse discipline with consistency. And in the Bible, it says God rewards the discipline. But God really is saying that he rewards the people who are willing to learn and be teachable. And that involves you just showing up for yourself and taking the step, you know, not even really doing it, but taking the step and trying and then learning from that. When you what you want from God or your heart's desires or whatever you still have stuff to learn it's not about preparing for the specific blessing and the specific thing you're doing but preparing everything that comes with that the bigger the blessing the more attacks that could come with it and a lot of Christians sometimes they're so quick to walk into something or walk into a territory that they're not ready for and then they're not able to really focus and fight things in the spirit that comes with that really dominate that territory so dominating the territory has nothing to do with the physical things that we're doing but the things that we're doing in the spirit to secure and sustain what it is that we're asking god for and preparing for this season um god's been just teaching me not to lean on my strength but on his preparing ways that more be beneficial than what the world tells us it's not a race it's not a race but it's a marathon and it's a journey and it's not about really getting there but you get there and using what you've learned on the journey that's why the journey is more important because what you learn on the journey is what's going to help you and sustain you when you reach your destination but even when you reach there we're still learning we're still growing even with like the israelites and they were going to the promised land these principalities that were on their territory and it was so intimidating but by faith they went and crossed over because they were god was with them god was with them and everything that they learned and you know obtained from their journey was with what helped them to even cross and get there but a lot of the times we be so in a rush to go to the territory and we get there and yeah we have the territory but then it's like what about the things that come with the territory and i'm not talking about the physical stuff i'm talking about stuff in the spirit and so we slowly start coming out of the will of god and start doing things on our own not on your own understanding but lean on god's strength god will use your weaknesses and he's also teaching us to not idolize 
all these things that will try to help you get there but focus on god not to be in a rush to do things because in order to be high you have to be low i hope this helps somebody and have a god blessed day